Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Smoky Ribs. Before I get started with this cook, I would like to publicly express my thanks to all of you in the YouTube community that express your condolences and offered your prayers for the tragic event that happened on Father's Day out in Virginia, uh, which is my family. Actually, it's my wife's daughter and her grandchildren. Very tragic event, and I, we appreciate it very much. Thank you. All right, so what I got going on right now inside this Kamado Joe is a spatchcock chicken, all right? I've got it smoking in pimento wood from Jamaica. This was shipped straight out of Jamaica, and I've got it steaming in a red stripe Jamaican-style beer. And uh, as this progresses and gets close to being done, I'm going to slather on some Pirate Johnny's Caribbean barbecue sauce. This is probably going to be one kicked-up chicken. So let's get busy. All right, I've got my lump charcoal. I've got about a half a load here. You can see the vent holes here. I think that'd be more than enough to do this one chicken with. All right, I've got a starter cube in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it going. All right, also I've got some real pimento wood straight out of Jamaica. I've had it soaking overnight in water. And these are just the shavings. And I'm just gonna put these in various places around this charcoal and as they light they'll begin to smoke that pimento wood this is a caribbean style chicken it's not a jerk chicken even though the barbecue sauce that i'll be using from pirate johnny's does have jerk seasoning in it but it is more of a sweet barbecue sauce all right when i get ready to season the chicken here in a few minutes you'll notice that i'm just going to use a basic seasoning salt pepper and a little cayenne and that's mainly because i want this pimento wood to really add some awesome flavor to this chicken and also i want the sauce once i sauce this bird up to do its uh number on it as well with all its great flavors and jerk seasoning all right i'm gonna let this fire go for about a good 10 minutes make sure we're good and caught good and then we'll go ahead and put the deflector plate and the grate and other things in here we'll be back Okay, so now I got my deflector plate in. On top of that, I got an oven safe Pyrex dish. That's going to catch all the drippings, but that's not all it's going to do. This is going to be the drunk part of this chicken here. I'm using a red stripe Jamaican style lager, and we're going to let this steam into this chicken. I tell you what, beer canned chicken is good, but my thing with that is. You're shoving a beer into a cold chicken and the center of the chicken is the last thing to get done that beer never really gets up the temperature to create any amount of steam i have done them and when i pull the beer out it's almost full you're, you're really not doing much of anything so this is really the best way just have your container pour your beer over in there let that steam into your meat that's going to make a lot of difference all right the first thing i'm going to do is take a pair of poultry shears I'm going to cut this backbone out of this chicken. This is what they refer to as a spatchcock chicken. We're going to go right beside the backbone here with these shears. You can also use kitchen shears if you have them. Just need to be some pretty heavy duty shears. These are working fantastic. All right now I'm going to go up the other side. All right, so I'm making a Caribbean flavored chicken here so all the seasoning i want is really just your basic seasoning which is going to be salt i'm going to be using a coarse salt on this we're going to add some black pepper and i'm also going to apply a little bit of cayenne pepper all right we're going to turn him over do the exact same thing more salt and by the way this is the laid out part of the title of this chicken here <laughs> he is definitely laid out and some more cayenne you may notice i add cayenne to a lot of things and there again when you do this on a grill you're, you're going to detect hardly any heat if any at all 
this is just adding another element to it, another flavor, and I just happen to love that flavor that it produces. All right, so we got the chicken all ready to go here. I'm gonna go outside, check on the Kamado Joe. It should be getting pretty close up to temp. I'm gonna be doing this at about 350 degrees, just like you would do in your oven, 350 to 375. It's gonna take somewhere around an hour. All right, we got some smoke rolling. I've hit my target temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this chicken on the grates. We're going to close her up. I'm going to put the final touches on adjusting this temperature as it uh, levels out. We'll be back. I've got a tip for all you Kamado Joe owners. If you put a pan that's holding a liquid such as I have in here with the beer, go ahead and adjust your temperature from your lower vent and leave your, your top vent wide open. And the reason I'm saying that is because the liquid will build up a lot of moisture inside of your Kamado that can actually create a cooling effect and you might have a hard time controlling your temperatures. But if you leave the daisy wheel wide open, and I mean wide open, just like this, then you will allow the moisture to escape more rapidly and uh, you'll have no problems with it like that. Just want to throw that in there for all you Kamado Joe owners, uh, Grill Dome, whoever. Oh man, look at the color on that. That is just beautiful. All right, we're not quite there yet. We're getting close. I'm not using a thermometer on this. I have been cooking outdoors way before they come out with digital thermometers. And you got your little telltale signs like the meat drawing back off the bones and the color of it. Just, you know, I do use thermometers, but I think... Some people get too dependent on them, if you know what I mean. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sauce this up at the state it's in right now. And we're going to be using this Pirate Johnny's Caribbean Barbecue Sauce. I smelt of it. And yes, it has a hint of that jerk, that jerk seasoning in there. But oh, it's got an awesome smell. All right. Here we go. Now, I've had a lot of barbecue chicken in my time, and I'm here to tell you, this is going to be a different experience. I, I know that already. whole lot different flavor. Hey, I'm really liking this barbecue brush. Stainless steel chain brush. Holds that sauce in there. Look at that. Works as good as a mop. Maybe better. All right, I'm going to close her up. We're going to let her go, like I said, 15, 20 minutes. I'll check on it from time to time. All right, I'm just using the rest of this sauce here. Not much left at all. Just going to put it one more little coating here. It's looking phenomenal. Look at that. The color, unbelievable. And you absolutely would not believe the smell coming from this. And by the way, in the Pyrex dish, I ended up using three 12 ounce red stripe beers all of it was consumed in a way of steam so now you can see what i'm saying the difference in using a beer can chicken versus doing it like this you're going to get a lot more of that into it and i know this is going to be juicy i end up pulling the pan out before i damaged it i would actually recommend you using the aluminum throwaway pans to do that with uh, but the ones i have are too tall i couldn't get them under that so hopefully i can clean that up to where my wife don't kill me all right gonna give it 10 more minutes we're gonna pull it i'll meet you at the cutting board all right i just took a little taste test of this but i'm gonna do my official taste test right now i just took some of this thigh oh my lord it's good let's try some of this breast meat here that's the telltale look at the juice look at it can you see it look at the juice running out of it yes sir all right, let's take a taste. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh my goodness. I kid you not, people. <laughs> I'm not even a chicken person. Chicken is like one of my least favorite things on earth to eat, I guess, because I was raised on it and had so much of it growing up. It's like the, one of the last things I'll do but since I do have a cooking channel, I feel like I owe it to all of you to do some good recipes with it. Now, I'm going to tell you what, 
I know a lot of you have watched me do uh, product reviews mainly in the last eight months or so and you know I'm trying to get away from that somewhat I'm trying to get back to what made my channel what it is and that's making and creating my own sauces and rubs which I thoroughly love doing but I'm here to tell you that barbecue sauce that Caribbean Pirate Johnny's that is some awesome stuff I'm, I'm not saying that so you go over and order it I'm saying it because it's the truth but I uh, <laughs> They sent me that bottle free of charge, but I guarantee you I'm going to place an order out of my own pocket because that stuff rocks. All right, until next time, smoke the ribs.